Kasama natin ngayon ang batik ang boxing analyst na sina Ronnie Nathaniels at attorney Ed Tolentino para pag-usapan ng nagrap na Pacquiao Bradley 3. I'll start with you, Mr. Ron. Welcome to The Score. Welcome, Attorney Ed. Um, initially, what was your assessment of the fight? Was it as you expected? Yeah, I predicted he will win by uh, unanimous decision, not a knockout. And he, he, he did just that. Uh, it was a good fight, but not that impressive for uh, Sakin. I think it's time for him to retire. I'm very firm about that. Attorney Ed, what was your impression of the fight? Dahil balita ako, si Nami Rowney, eh. Floyd Mayweather Jr., <laughs> natabla daw yung laban. Ano naman ang impression mo? Eh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., hindi siya pwede mag-judge sa beauty contest. Ano? <laughs> Pero, really, I concur with Sugar Ray. We expected really a uh, 12-round decision for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, we always said that the power will be the big difference here. Uh, I thought they really chose Bradley dahil... Uh, walang power yung uh, Amerikano eh. So kahit pa paano, merong enough time si Manny Pacquiao to take some risks at mahina ang payback. Uh, the knockdown showed na nandun pa rin yung power niya, yung lakas, yung timing niya nandun pa rin. Uh, wala na yung blitzkrieg, yung dating Pacquiao na talagang uh, kapag inararo ka ng suntok eh, parang iniimbal sa maka ng buhay. Ano? Wala na yun. Ano? Pero nandun pa rin yung uh, judicious Pacquiao, eh, still deadlier Pacquiao. Uh, I thought, well, this is the farewell fight supposedly pero ang dating sa akin parang preservative fight eh parang pinipreserve pa rin niya yung sarili niya for some something bigger uh, down the road uh, we'll get back to that at Ornette, but uh, Mr. Ron uh, granted that this is the farewell fight of Pacquiao would you have chosen Bradley as the opponent to preserve his legacy? Eh, tama naman yan kasi because that's the best way to go out you know you can beat him you beat him twice already so one more time won't hurt and you can go out on a winning note, uh, a blaze of glory, mm. uh, which was accentuated by the two knockdowns. So, tama naman yan. And, and the one who wanted that fight was actually Michael Conz, mm. mm -hmm. because Bob Arum was pushing Terence Crawford. That's a dangerous fight for Pacquiao. Care to elaborate, Very dangerous. Mr. Ron. Young, fast, power, good footwork, everything in his favor against Manny Pacquiao. Freddie Roach seems to like that fight, Mr. Ron. Well, Freddie Loach will like anything and gives him a $1 million every fight. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to, to train yeah. Pacquiao for a $1 million to fight anybody. Pero ang paniniwala ko yung mga bata, hayaan mong sila na lang magrambulan. Tama. It will never end eh. Mga bata yan, talagang ambisyoso sila. Kasi nga naman, super laki eh. Kikitain nila kapag mm -hmm. nakuha sila ni Manny Pacquiao. Uh, legend na eh. Iba na yung status ni Manny Pacquiao eh. So oh. dapat, uh, legend to legend na ang kanyang uh, progression. Leave the puppies in their cage and let them quarrel among themselves. Because you're top dog. Right? You're top dog. Alright, since we're talking about money here, and maybe this is the next fight of Pacquiao, how much money did Pacquiao make throughout his career? And what did he do with his money? Malaking pera eh. Malaking pera eh. Well, ang estimate ng Forbes magazine, honest estimate lang yun, almost $500 million. That's dishonest estimate. Honest estimate lang yun. Now, for this fight, he earned $20 million. And don't forget yung financial windfall kay Floyd Mayweather Jr. $150 million. Okay, $150 plus $20 is $170 already. So, matotal eh, talagang he has more dollar reserves than the Central Bank of the Philippines. You know? Ang dami na eh. When is enough, enough. Yeah. Diba? When is enough, enough. Kaya lang, eh, siyempre, marami rin gastusin. Hindi ba? Sabi nga ni Babarum, he's even building churches, uh, hospitals, uh, other extra in, uh, expenditures. So, when is enough, enough. You, diba? Mr. Ron, you seem to think strongly that this should be the last, really the last fight for Pacquiao na dapat talaga mag-retire na siya. Pero, how can you turn your back on, let's say, another $100 million payday against, let's say, uh, Floyd Mayweather? Uh, let me condition that statement with if he fights Floyd, Floyd Mayweather that's the only fight I think he should fight mm. Mayweather because two things can happen he may win that fight most unlikely although I think Mayweather will beat him and he can make a lot of money so from those two perspectives the only fight that he should fight if he fights again is against Floyd Mayweather Jr. And Attorney Ed was telling us that he actually has a theory about the possibility of he always Mayweather. Has theories. Yes, yeah. I know. He always and has uh, I'd like to give Attorney Ed this opportunity to share with all of us this theory that he has regarding the chance 
of seeing Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao face each other again. Oh, oh ah. maganda yung tiro ko eh. Yung tiro kasi, simple lang eh. Yung pag if, retirement ni Manny Pacquiao actually sets up the match with Mayweather. Uh, it okay. might sound uh, ironic, ano? But here's the twist. Yung kontrata ni Manny kasi hanggang December 1, 2016. Okay. Now, Bob Arum is saying it's automatically extended for another year because almost one year na hindi lumaban si Manny Pacquiao, so until 2017. But here's the catch. Bob Arum is saying if Manny Pacquiao retires, end of contract. So technically, tapos na yung kontrata ni Manny Pacquiao kay Arum dahil retired na ako. Safest, December 2, 2016. Manny Pacquiao becomes a free agent. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather, on the other hand, is already a free agent. Tapos na yung commitment niya sa Showtime last year after the Andre Berto fight. Free agent Pacquiao, free agent Floyd Mayweather, they can get it on. All the money will just be for them to divide. No more promoters, no more uh, middlemen. Hindi ba sabi ni Mayweather, kaya nga nadelay yung laban natin dahil nandiyan si Bob Arum. Oh, yeah. Money, Pacquiao, we can make more money if it is just the two of us. The situation is already there because Pacquiao retires, end of contract, free agent. Mayweather already a free agent. They both come back from retirement and then Pero have the really, pot all for themselves. Yeah, you're a lawyer. Oh yeah. Now, if Pacquiao return, uh, retires today and say he's a free agent and sign the contract with Mayweather tomorrow, Bob Arum will sue oh, him. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That's why perhaps the safest is December 2, 2016. Because December 1 is supposedly the end of contract. Although Arum is insisting it is automatically extended for another year because he was injured for 11 months and he cannot arrange a fight for Manny. That will be the gray area. But uh, contract-wise, per se, the contract, December 2 is the safest for uh, us to say that Manny Pacquiao would become a free agent. And it will be easier because it's just the two of us. The problem you know? is that it's Bob Arum who said that Pacquiao was injured and it's yeah. only then that Pacquiao said he was injured. But that injury was not as serious as they make it out to be. Apparently, because he has been fighting with, with the shoulder uh, already showing signs of injury. But the beauty of it all, sabi ko, free agent, imagine mo, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. ah, kayo lang mag-asawa, wala yung binan. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ba? Ang ganda ng laban niyo eh. Hindi. Tayo lang dalawa, Problema walang mga biyanan eh. Yan. Di ba? Ay, walang biyanan. Biyanan. Walang hihingi That's ng kat. That's because you're not married. Oh, single lang kasi ako eh. Paano ko na ito? Gusto niyo ba? One on one lang, di ba? Oh, Kailangan yeah, ng girlfriend oh, oh. mo. Very interesting oh. yung theory niya, oh. Dorian Yedda. But Mr. Parang Ron, tayong free agent. Yeah. you seem to think that it is very unlikely mm. to happen. Yes, yes. Unlikely. Because oh, Aram will contest. On the side of Mayweather, what, what, what is the to benefit? To me, Mayweather doesn't want to fight again. I've talked to Alex Ariza so many times, and Alex is pretty close to him. And Mayweather says he doesn't want to fight anymore because he makes $1 million a month out of his investments. That's enough. You know, Mayweather is getting bored. That's true, by not fighting. But what he does, he gets new girlfriends every week. <laughs> so, keeps him active. You know what I mean? That's my kind of life. So, Mr. Ron, 39 years not. old, Floyd Mayweather Jr., 49 and old. Do you think he's satisfied with that? Yeah, yeah it, he's satisfied with that. Uh, because also, you have to understand, Parako, if he fights uh, Pacquiao, it could be dangerous. Pacquiao might get in one good solid shot and Mayweather might go to sleep. The right, Parako? But you know the pressure with Mayweather? Mm. He wants to break the tie yes. with Rocky Marciano. Yeah. But the problem is, he cannot get that 50 and 0 against a trial horse because he was already booed in the Andre Berto fight. Tama. So it's, he is now under pressure. If he does return for that 50 and 0 record, it has to be an opponent with a decent pulse, not just another trial horse. And the way uh, I see it, Manny Pacquiao is on the horizon. He's the only one. He's, he's the, the only, only one. one. But to be honest with you, I love Pacquiao, but I think maybe they will beat him again. And you think Pacquiao should uh, retire already, Mr. I Ron? think he should. I so think assuming, assuming that he does retire, sum up in a, in a few sentences, uh, if you may, what, what legacy does Manny Pacquiao leave? Well, one, he was the greatest Filipino fighter of all time. In fact, one of the greatest in the world of all time. He restored the respect internationally for the Philippines, uh, redeemed our stature as a, a hotbed of boxing 
and lifted the country out of the rut at a time we were really down. And for that, we have to credit him. That's why people tell me, will you vote for Manny Pacquiao for the Senate? Of course I will. Why not? He has done so much for our country. It's about time we pay him back in some fashion. Utang nalo biyan ni. Diba? So, I, how about you? I would just concur with you. Thank you. To make it shorter because of time constraints. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, really, yeah. just to second Ronnie. Really, he's the greatest Filipino fighter of all time. Uh, no, we can never uh, create another Pacquiao because, well, number one, cloning is still not allowed. And <laughs> there is really no fighter who can even come close. But the beautiful thing about it is, is that he raised the bar for all other young Filipino fighters to follow. And if they can get at least 60-70% of the Pacquiao uh, accomplishments, it's good enough. Huh? It's good enough. There will, there will always be somebody special, but nobody like Manny Pacquiao. And we have a lot of exciting fights up ahead. Nanita yeah. Nanaira fighting yeah. soon. Attorney Ed, Mr. Ron, thank you so much thank for you. coming. Thank you. You're welcome. You're thank most you. welcome. Thank you very much. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.